Well, welcome everybody and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 14th of February through to Sunday the 20th of February 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. So just before we jump into your overarching crowning messages, I'd like to share with you the channel's message that I received for you, particularly this week as we are entering a full moon on the 16th of February. Those that I am connecting with, you're being guided to know that you are protected. Either you as an individual or the connection that you are in is very much protected. But you're being guided to set some healthy boundaries. Um, Recognise what uh, is yours in terms of your feelings at this time because whoever you've connected with either you walked away from this person or they feel that you've walked away from them because this feels the very much like a a twin flame or an ultimate soulmate there's a very very deep bond between the two of you and i feel whoever it is that walked away from whoever i feel that those of you that i'm connecting with you're being guided to really um ask for discernment of whatever it is you're feeling this week um to kind of uh, differentiate what is yours and what is the person that you're connecting with okay so that's the channeled message that i received for all of you let's have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are now my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning well this card wanted to come out fear okay yeah that makes a lot of sense. So whatever it is, um, whatever it is you and whoever you are connecting with, either they fear or you fear that you've they've walked away from you or they're going to walk away. Or if you've walked away, you are in this energy of fear. OK, somebody's going through fear. And I feel that all of these um uh, crows um, or sparrows that are coming in here it's almost as if you're being guided don't allow outside energies um to like have you on a puppet like have you as a puppet string okay it's almost as if you're being guided to definitely differentiate what is yours and what is um whoever you're connecting with. I feel that many of you are being guided that you can break free of this cage of fear. Now, whether or not it's fear that you've made a mistake to walk away from somebody or fear that um, you see this person walking away from you. Yeah, you're being guided, I feel, with these birds coming in with very, very strong messages that you can break out of that cage. Don't let outside forces put you in that energy of fear you can break out of it because you are protected look at the light in the cave you are protected and so is the connection let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question how does these soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love week commencing monday the 14th of february through to sunday the 20th of february 2022 thank you and then the void yeah okay so uh whatever is going on um with those that i am uh picking up and reading for i feel that you're being guided that at this time that it feels like there's a void it's like there's a black hole okay and that's where this fear is coming from i feel that you're being guided to ground yourself and allow mother earth to cradle you at this time there's nothing to fear there is nothing to fear because you are protected look at these two cards it's almost like this energy of the void is that it's you that's feeling vo you are at a void you are feeling as if there is no way out there is no light there is just darkness okay the dark moon coming in here and you're being guided to know that the light is around you you can break free of feeling a void there's nothing to fear. And I feel that for many of you this week, rest, 
rest and rejuvenate so that you can see the light so that you can differentiate what is controlling your emotions and differentiate take what is yours and leave the rest so for many of you i feel that either it's you that's walked away because I was picking up in the channel's message that this person, whoever you're connecting with, either they see you walking away or they're walking away. So it could be either or, but whatever it is, there is a lot of fear around you because it's like you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. This is a time to rest, rejuvenate, surrender, and just know that um, divine spirit universe is protecting you. All right. So you can break out of that energy of fear. You can break out of that energy of feeling in the dark. And look at that beautiful. For many of you, this nourishment card is a new beginning. You're being guided to know that you are abundant. This is breaking free. So it's almost as if whatever fear and darkness that you are feeling in right now, there is abundance. It's almost as if divine spirit universe is letting you know that you are overflowing with abundance because you are protected. Many of you may be going through a change of some sort, a change of circumstances, a change of environment, a change of... Um, a new beginning, a transformation. But I feel that this energy is very much around those of you that I'm connecting with. It almost feels as if if you walked away or the person that you are with walked away, it's almost as if you didn't want that to happen. But there is abundance, there's nourishment. But I feel that you're being guided to step out of that energy of fear and feeling as if you're in that black hole. Many of you may be a little bit isolated at the moment. Don't let outside influences internally within you, through you and around you dictate fear. You can break out of this. Let's have a look and see what you are what your crowning wisdom message is. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom message to the question, how does these soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday, the 14th of February through to Sunday, the 20th of February, 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards the collective that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Oh, my days. So whoever I'm connecting with, you are connecting with your twin flame. Wow. Okay. And there we go. Now, just take that card in for a moment. It's almost as if Divine Spirit Universe is saying, hold your peace with the dove. The connection is protected. This is a divine divinely guided protect um, connection and I said that that channeled message that I received for you uh, that you're connecting with either a twin flame or an ultimate soulmate there is the affirmation for you yeah your passion ignites trust trust that the connection is protected Okay, so for those of you that I am connecting with, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to others seeking a general love message um, this week. Um, and uh, also, if you want to get those notifications, um, uh, please click on that uh, notification button uh, that also enables you to get those uh, messages of when I'm uploading new messages and of course it does enable you as well to um, well it, it enables the support of the channel so I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement existing subscribers welcome 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 back thank you for all of your support encouragement and donations it's really appreciated and i really do hope that you all get something really useful and meaningful out of this week's reading
Okay, let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 14th of February through to Sunday the 20th of February 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards the collective that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right. Let's do this. Ooh, okay. Wow. <laughs> well, that didn't um, muck around. Uh, so with the five of cups that's coming out here, whoever you are connecting with, I feel as if there is um, sadness um, or there was sadness. There was sadness, um, disappointment, um, feeling. So it feels as if this person felt that you walked away okay for those of you that i'm connecting with i feel that this person feels that you had walked away from them and i feel that they're asking if it was them i feel that they're asking um for forgiveness or they want forgiveness um that i feel that this person is missing you if you walked away from this person this person is wanting for they want sorry if they walked away from you they're wanting your forgiveness um they are almost accepting that there is a big void without you okay um missing you basically if um as i say if you walked away from this person i feel that this person is forgiving you okay they're forgiving you um but there's something that's there's a change there's a change coming because of the nourishment that's coming in let's continue my angels and spirit guides Woo. okay well there is that card came out and this card came out okay so with the chariot cards coming in i feel that this person is wanting definitely to rush in after some deep deep healing okay so feeling really disappointed and upset either with themselves or with you from walking away from this connection whoever it was okay um i feel that they are accepting the situation they're also accepting the situation that there is a big void without you all right and that they have come to that conclusion um after some deep deep healing okay with the chariot uh i feel that the two of you could be at a distance from each other maybe different locations um definitely different backgrounds in some shape form or another you also could be dealing with um a cancerium okay with the knight of swords i feel that this person wants to come in and speak their truth but it also could represent that either one of you had cut the other person out Hence why either they are feeling that you walked away or um, they're picking up um, that walking away from you wasn't, didn't serve their highest good. They are, they're understanding that now. Let's continue. Thank you. So for those of you that I'm reading for right now, I would say that you're quite spiritually still. Um quite stagnant at the moment, not sure what to do, whether to release this person, to release fear, okay? But you're just observing, observing whether or not you should approach this person to speak your truth. And I feel that that's why you're being guided to come out of the energy of fear. Let's continue. Thank you. Wow. Okay, and there is the representation of the nourishment, yeah? Uh, many of you, you're, you're, I feel that you do want to be around this person. Many of you, uh, whoever walked away, it, it almost feels as if whoever walked away, um, it's, it's kind of irrelevant because uh, you want to be around this person. You want to get to know this person. You want to celebrate this con connection. But I feel that there's something that you want to let go that they said to you or something that you want to let go that you had said to them. With a bonus card that's coming up here, with the eight of swords uh whoever this knight of um swords energy um definitely both of you are really overthinking this it's almost as if you're in this cage so it feels as if this is your energy the eight of um swords 
You're definitely in this place of um, entrapment, overthinking, overanalyzing. You're being guided that you can break out of that. It's almost as if whatever this person said or whatever you said to this person, don't be that puppet on a string. Don't let those outside um, uh, outside things that were said between you and this person dictate letting go, letting go fear and, and moving forward to celebration, to being with this person, getting to know this person because the connection is nourished. It's almost as if it's overflowing with abundance, but it's you that needs to, I feel for many of you, in fact, it could be both of you. This this middle cards, middle cards could be the energy of both of you. It's like you're being guided to break out of that, break out of that cage. You don't need to be in there. Let's have a look and see what your uh, clarification cards are. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify? Woo. Okay, so... Uh, so we've got the uh, High Priestess and we've got the Hierophants coming in reverse. So can we see those? Okay. Okay. So for those of you that I'm connecting with, it feels as if there's some sort of um, either this person and this is the, the Hierophant is letting me know that the two of you are divinely guided. This is echoing the Twin Flame connection. So it almost feels as if... Um, if they felt that you walked away or they walked away, it's almost as if it created a blockage of this connection, okay? With the um, High Priestess um, coming in there, it's almost as if, um, it almost feels as if whoever you're connecting with, it's as though they are not connect. they've disconnected with themselves. They're not listening to their heart space, okay? This person um, may have been um, repressing their feelings, okay? That's why there was this disappointment, wanting to f wanting you to forgive that they repressed their feelings. But this also could represent that this person feels that they've lost you. So whoever walked away, it almost feels as if it doesn't really matter. It feels as if this person is waking up to realize that their life is a void. Their life is like a void without you, okay? Feeling lost, feeling um, uh, if they repress their emotions, having a lot of regret, hence why they're wanting forgiveness. They're feeling that nostalgia, with the Hierophant coming in reverse, I feel that this person is, is, there was some sort of corruption, some sort of corruption in their thinking, okay? Maybe this person didn't believe that you were their twin flame, their ultimate soulmate, but they felt the connection. Um, this person may have felt that um, you were long-term commitment, marriage material, and perhaps they doubted it in some shape, form or another, and there's the change with the world card coming in. So whoever you're connecting with, I feel that they want change. So whatever it is that they have gone within to um, to sort of unpack and to really analyze and to which obviously that's what they're doing here, um, really analyzing. They've come out victorious after some deep, deep retrospective thinking, and they are wanting change. The world card is change. And I feel that this change is the nourishment. They are recognizing this connection is overflowing. It's abundant. And I feel that the change is A, with the seven of cups, they are choosing you, and B, they definitely want to make sure um, to give you clarity of any misunderstandings or miscommunication that they basically want to be with you, okay? Uh, with the world cards coming out here, but again, this is echoing that the two of you could be at different locations, um, spiritually different or physically different locations, different backgrounds, um, across the world even. Uh, you could be dealing with a Taurus, uh, Leo, uh, Scorpio or Aquarius here. But this person is wanting to clear up misunderstandings, miscommunication. It's like this person is choosing you, okay? Whoever I'm connecting with. Let's continue. 
So it almost feels as if with the Seven of Cups and particularly with that High Priestess here, this person may have held back how they felt towards you, repressed how they felt because Cups is, is all about love and emotions. Wow, yeah, the Devil card. So I feel that this person definitely is operating from fear because they held back how they felt towards you. And I feel that they are breaking out of that or they want to break out of that. It's possibly them that said something to cut out this relationship, deny this connection, walk away from the connection. Or if they said something, it was corrupt, corrupt, corrupt. Um, that is why you may have walked away. OK. You also could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could have Capricorn in your chart. Thank you. And then on your side, yeah, the King of Pentacles. Um, so I feel that um, for many of you, either if this is your energy, it feels as if you took away a solid commitment to this person. You took it away. You walked away because of something that they said that was quite corrupt. Now I feel that this person is operating in fear, but you may be operating in fear as well. With the King of Pentacles, it also could be their energy coming towards you, having gone through some sort of victory over really seeing that their life is um, void without you. Okay. Let's continue. Thank you. Yeah. So with the uh, Four of Swords, uh, many of you um, were heartbroken. Heartbroken over something that they said. So, okay, so it's this person that walked away from you in some shape, form or another. I feel that they're coming back round. They're coming back round. You were very heartbroken. Many of you could have been in healing for a long while. This is why this hangman is here trying to release the heartbreak. Fearful um, that... If you give this person like another chance to celebrate this connection, are they going to say things to you? Are they going to cut you out again? Are they going to say something quite cutting? And that's where you're in this period of healing, really thinking about this, trying real hard to uh, release, release this heartbreak, but yet still overthinking. OK, let's continue. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. And then, yeah, it's going to take every bit of strength and courage for you to move forward. And that's why I feel that your um, channel's message, those of the, you that I'm reading for, you're being guided to know that you are protected. The connection is protected because this is your twin flame, your ultimate soulmate. It's going to take a lot of strength and courage to meet this person halfway. So I feel that this king of pentacles is their energy. OK, could also be dealing with uh, a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. Thank you. Yeah, many of you do want to put the work in. All right. With the three of coins here. But we've got two sets of threes coming here. Either you felt that this person had somebody else that could echo the seven of cups here. And um, this person had options or you felt that they had had options so you may have felt that there was a third party energy and that's possibly why this heartbreak is this hesitancy whether or not you have the strength and the courage to meet this person halfway um to reconcile um and and that may be where the fear is coming from thank you and your final card yeah and um, the page of swords many of you want to clear something up with this person observing um that if you do have to reconcile get back together with this person if there was a third party energy it's almost as if you want honesty you want honesty you want the truth you uh want to uh release this once and for all basically many of you i feel that this is your energy that you are really really overthinking what this person said how they said it if they cut you out if they denied the connection uh many of you may want to speak your truth in a very blunt direct way because you want to clear something up with this person but you could be at a crossroads as to what to say hence why you are spiritually still trying to release the pain okay of this heartbreak particularly if you felt that there was three people in this connection but i am picking up it could go either way you want to put the work in you want to celebrate this connection but if there was a third party if you felt that this person had other choices you want you want clarity on that like once and for all. Let's clarify the um, Eight of Swords. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you clarify? Thank you. Wow, wow. Look at that. 
Yeah, so I feel that this person with the Ten of Swords has a lot of regret okay a lot of swords here this person has a lot of regret maybe from uh repressing how they feel if they did have other options um they you know and they had other people around which many of you may intuitively have known that i feel that this person has a lot of regret over that if that is not resonating with you this person having repressed their feelings for you now feeling like they lost you for some reason um this person has a lot of regret from that but they've he they're healing but they are still really really thinking about it it could be a lot of silent treatment between the two of you and then with the emperor coming up here i feel many of you want to take control of the situation now you want to take control of your emotions you want to take control of what direction you're going in so therefore many of you really may want to say something quite cutting to this person but really really thinking about it trying to take control of your life to release any heartbreak, taking control to be strong, taking control to put the work in, get to know this person again. But if this is a third party situation, uh, clearing that up. Yeah. With the emperor, you could be dealing with an Aries or you could have Aries in your chart. Let's have a look and see what your advice is. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me? Thank you. Wow, look at the power of that card. Many of you could be le dealing with a Leo very strongly. And it says here, I'm courageous and powerful. You're being guided, particularly as we are coming into this full moon um, on the 6th of February, that your power is almost as if you're taking back your power with the Emperor and the Strength cards. And you're being guided to know that you are courageous and you are powerful. So take back your power. Um, break out of any kind of puppet um energy around you that is keeping you on a string of fear okay because you can break out of this energy and 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 be abundant be celebrating um celebrating uh um moving forward celebrating knowing that you are, are, are abundant um but also celebrating that uh your blessings are overflowing yeah Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me your advice? Thank you and thank you. Look at that. That's really beautiful. Peace. I see peace here. And it says, look, I accept that here now is exactly where I am. And that is a place of profound learning. So it almost feels as if whatever has gone on with you and this person, because it is a twin flame connection that I'm picking up for many of you, it's almost as if you're being guided to look at things from a higher perspective, a, a perspective of learning, a, pers a perspective of peace, of understanding, of wisdom, taking back your power, taking back control and knowing that you have got the strength to be courageous, to move forward, to turn the situation into the abundance of celebrating, celebrating this connection. And wow, look at that. It's almost as if you're going on a new journey here. And it says, failure is only learning. I move with confidence and resilience. Yeah, absolutely. So for many of you, they're just letting me know that many of you may end up walking away from this person. Even though many of you may want to put the work in or there's a lot of love you want to you, you want to reconcile. For some of you, you may end up walking away. Receiving your blessings elsewhere. So for many of you, um, if this is a twin flame journey and this is resonating, this may not be the right time for you both to come into union. It may be later on down the line and whatever it is you're experiencing with this person is almost as if you're being guided to see the lessons so that you can level up spiritually with wisdom, understanding, discernment. And you've got the courage to do that. If you don't want to separate from this person, and this is not a third party energy, but you just want to uh, 
reconcile you want to put the work in you want to clear some some stuff up you want to get to know this person and celebrate this connection you're being guided that whatever is on your mind right now just accept it for what it is look for the learnings whatever failed in this connection see it as a learning and see that you you can take back your power and move forward with confidence with resilience and receive your blessings of nourishment because many of you whatever your circumstances are you are definitely overflowing yeah you're overflowing it's as if divine spirit universe wants to bless you with more more but you need to come out of that energy all right i'm going to leave that there for you if this resonates for you please feel free to um check out your moon rising and venus signs uh, you may get some more insight that may help you uh if this reading uh, resonated for you please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already and until next time i'm sending you all loads and loads of love peace and light you take care bye bye